First thing I want to talk about is what you should do when she texts you during no contact. So let's first begin with the idea of going into no contact properly. Now, don't worry about this too much if you haven't done this properly, right? What do I mean by properly? Well, <clears throat> when a woman breaks up with you, begging and pleading, pursuing and all that shit doesn't get you anywhere. It never has, never will. And if she does go back out with you, it's out of pity. It's not out of actual burning desire to be with you. Burning desire is always the number one goal when you want to be dating a woman. So when she walks away from you, when she does not want to be together anymore and all that shit, you let them go. You let them walk. And you say you're reinvited. If you want to be, if I'm single, cool. If I'm not, have a good day, have a good life, wish you all the best. Now, inside your body, inside your emotions, you're going to be screaming, you're going to be upset, it's going to suck. If you do no contact properly and start it off properly, which is the way I just told you, take a hike, but look, if you change your mind, let me know. Then what will happen is you're starting no contact off in the most masculine, most strong way possible. When we start off that way, she's going to be, she's going to feel that strength. Chris Camwell came out with a video a long time ago about that, basically when, when there's a lot of tension in a relationship, everyone runs away from the idea of tension, okay? And when two people start having space and separating, they go like this, right? And then, then he talked about how there should be a string, right? Well, if that string is there, eventually it's going to get really tight or taut, right? So that the idea behind that is eventually whoever's weaker is the one that's going to want to relieve that tension. Well, if she leaves you, you have to be the stronger one. What will end up happening is one of two things, usually, in, in the end. Usually, she, a lot of guys do get a second chance, but they just fuck it up in a really subtle or backwards-ass way. Sometimes she'll reach out to you and you don't set a proper date. You don't try to catch up. You just act emotional and you try to pick up where you left off. A lot of guys think that that's what you got to do. No. What will happen is one of two things. Usually, she'll reach out to you in some way and then you have to say, yo, let's catch up. How you been? How you doing? Whatever, if that's your desire. A lot of guy people watch my videos and they're like, don't take an ex back. Duh, 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 duh. I'm like, yeah, don't watch these videos then. I'm trying to help the guys who want to do that and want to, you know, be successful with that. If I wanted to make videos about, you know, don't take your ex back and just move on and whatever, then I would do that. But anyway, if you want this to work, okay, you have to be masculine and strong. So she needs to feel that strength. She needs to feel your power. She needs to feel your lack of, of, weakness because you don't need her and she knows you don't again sorry I, I know i said this like five fucking times one of two things will happen either she'll reach out to you and everything will you know move forward or she never will again that's usually what ends up happening here she'll reach she'll reach out and then you guys will catch up and you guys will slowly go back up into dating but never accept friendship obviously and if, and if you never hear from her again Again, you're in a win-win situation both ways because first of all, you're going back into the relationship a second time with so much more knowledge about yourself, about how you handle emotions. If you learn something, most, you know, I would, I wouldn't say most people, some people don't learn anything. Some people go through this entire life, never learning and adapting and trying something new. They're so scared of life really, or she'll walk away. Now, when she texts you, during no contact, this can be confusing and I don't blame you guys because you're like, what the fuck do I do? What do I say? How do I act? Right? So because you guys don't want to fuck it up so bad, right? You don't want to be put, you don't want to put yourself out there. You don't want to be put through all that pain again. You don't want that rejection again. So I'm a spiritual guy. I don't think that rejection is something that really matters in the long term. Get used to it, right? That's how I've always thought about it. The more in life I've been rejected, something good always comes. It just comes in a delayed gratification kind of way. When something didn't work out, it always works out later. That comes with awareness, right? You just have to see it happen a couple of times. You're like, oh, okay, so it didn't work out, but something else better is coming. And when you think that way, it usually does. You just have to have a positive attitude. And I hate to say that, have a positive attitude. Like it's cliche but it's true for the most part. You invite into your life what you want and what you accept, right? A lot of guys go into new relationships with no boundaries, right? No direction, okay? Guys, you are the directors, the screenwriters, the script writers, I guess, the 
every piece to a movie, every piece of the football field, if you're the team, you are the director of what you want in your life. You want to change your life completely tomorrow? You can. It begins with one single step, but your life can absolutely change in a year with that beginning of that single step. You don't want to work at that shitty job anymore. Don't. When she texts you and all that shit, you just have to reiterate what the fuck you told her that you want. What ends up happening to a lot of guys after a breakup is they don't know what to do or say. They get caught in this frozen deer in the headlights kind of attitude. They're like, I'll do whatever you want because I miss you so badly. Thinking that that woman has any fucking clue about how she really does feel about you because that changes. She just knows that right now she does not want to be with you. So she walks away from you and guys are like, I'll just hang out here for a little bit. And the guy doesn't have any direction to his life. He's just like, okay, whatever. That is not attractive behavior. And she's going to respect you if you walk away, no matter what. She'll be like, you know what? At least he didn't, what, didn't act like a bitch. It'll be a subconscious thing. It's not something she's going to say to her friends. But it's called your dignity. So when she texts you, calls you, whatever, sometimes it'll be backwards. Sometimes it'll be direct. Right? Indirect, direct. I say backwards, but I say backwards ass shit for people who want to beat her on the bush, right? But it'll be indirect. Sometimes it'll be direct. What you need to do, fellas, is be direct about what you want. Don't be too stiff in the, in the terms of, hi, want to go back out? You know, that's not how attraction works. That's why you guys need to study attraction. Atomic Attraction is a very good book for this. Uh, how to be a 3% man is good as well. And when you work on your attraction skills and your, your dating skills, those attraction skills, you're using them every single day when you're in a long-term relationship anyway. Courtship, dates, you know, how to turn your woman on and so on. So you need to know those things when you are going through this stuff now, which is why I tell all my students, study, study, study mode. Because if she calls you tomorrow, what are you going to do? How are you going to act? What are you going to say? So when she does do that, you just reiterate what you want. So say she says, hey, how's it going? How you been? Just say, I'm doing really well. How you doing? She'll be surprised by your positive attitude, probably because of how you were when she ended it with you, right? And she's like, oh, what have you been up to lately? Oh, I'm working on this. I'm doing this. Don't reveal too much. Just say you're working on whatever. Don't give intricate details. I know how bad you want to talk to her. I know how bad you want to reveal all that shit inside because you think it's attractive, okay? No. Take a step backwards. Then from there, you say, hey, I got to go. Let's catch up later. Something like that works just fine. Or you can say, hey, I'm free on Friday. If you want to catch up, let me know, okay? I'll be free between 4 and 8 o'clock. And if she doesn't message you or talk to you between then, she wasn't fucking interested, I want you to almost assume that she's going to flake on you because if you assume that, right, and you should keep your doors, your options open, right? Keep your options open to other women and treat your ex the same way as you treat other women. That right there is the key because what ends up happening is dudes put their exes on a pedestal and they're like, I'm going to treat you better and more special than anyone because I spent more time with you because we spent love, you know, spent all these moments of love together and we bonded and we have this great connection, right? As soon as she says we're done, all that shit goes out the door. So you have to adjust, okay? And treat her like everybody else until she earns that spot back. That's it. Reiterate what you want. Fellas, remember your power. Remember how strong you are. Don't forget that. Okay, assert that. And if she doesn't accept it, there are a million other women in the world that will. Coaching's down below, courses down below, done.